everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if my voice sounds really low. I'm sorry if you hear a fan in the background. I'm just sorry if it's wonky. This video was not going to be this wonky, but let's just play with it because this is real life. So today I'm here with a very exciting video for me. I have been looking forward to making this video. I haven't had time all week, but I was like, no, I'm going to sit down today. So I heard this was coming out a couple of weeks ago and I just, for some reason, I was like, I need to get this palette. I was like, I need it. I need it. I've been holding off on purchasing a lot of things. I've been asking myself really seriously, like, do I need this or do I just, am I just buying into the hype? And I think that for a lot of products that have come out recently, it's the hype. I feel like kind of like even with this one, but I really went out of my way to get it. Basically today's video is going to be a, I don't really want to call it a review because it's going to be more like a first impression swatches and demo. I did do my eye makeup with this palette and only this palette because I wanted to see what the colors were like to work with. I've never owned any of their pro palettes or their mega pro palettes. This is my first one. But I have a lot of their little, um, like their little palettes, and I and I really love those. I'm really sad to hear that Lorac was pulled out of Sephora and is now only going to be sold at Ulta. I literally went to Sephora, and I was like, "Where's Lorac?" And they were like, "We don't sell that anymore." And I was just like, I really like the color scheme in this palette, and I had never really seen their other mega pro palettes I don't know why Lorac I guess is just not a brand that I'm like checking up on like Urban Decay or Too Faced or like you know the other big brands however this palette has been very talked about on YouTube so the palette is I guess the mega pro palettes are part of their holiday releases so this is what the palette comes in it's just a box like this I thought the box was really basic, to be honest. I mean, I don't care, but I actually, I actually do care because I'm, I'm that person that keeps boxes. I just didn't think that it was like anything representative of how cool the palette was. It's like they could have put it like in a white box, and I think that would have been more aesthetically pleasing and more in par with what the actual palette looks like. <sighs> I don't like the price tag. It was fifty nine dollars. I don't think I've ever bought a more expensive like single palette. Um, I usually get like Too Faced. Their holiday sets are like around 40 to 50 but they usually have a deluxe better than sex, uh, shadow insurance or something with it that kind of like breaks up that price. So you get 32 eyeshadows for $59 and one would say wow 32 eyeshadows that's incredible you're getting so many eyeshadows you're getting so much product but if you look at it the eyeshadow pans are very small like they are very small if you have any of the other pro palettes I would I would really say skip it I was really excited because I didn't have any of their pro palettes or mega pro palettes so to me, it's like I don't have anything like this in my collection from Lorac.
it and be like, wow, this is such a basic palette. Um, you could also even say like, wow, there are so many light colors and um, like, what would you do with all of those similar colors? And I agree, there are a lot of colors, like just looking at tan and pecan, they're very similar. Like it's, it's like they decided to go like 50% like darker, like a shade 50% darker. Um, and it's pretty much, or like a little bit browner. Or I also like that about the palette because I like that you can mix colors and you can put a little bit of this one and a little bit of that one. And I think that's why there are so many shadows in the palette. So I used about seven colors to create this look. I had no idea what I was doing. I was a little bit stressed out, to be honest. Um, I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> I was like blinded. I was like driving blinded. Um, I just had tools. And that's it. I didn't know anything else. I, I didn't even have like an inspiration of what I could do. Um, I just kind of went with it. I wanted to do something a little bit soft and then I always just have to be extra and put something in my crease. So that's kind of what I did. Oh, I used eight colors because I also used eggplant. And I think it has a good amount of like neutrals, warm colors, and cool colors. And I think that's what I really like. That's why I felt attracted to this palette. Um, honestly, I don't have any of these like baby blue, baby green colors. Um, I don't have a lot of like shimmery colors too. So to be honest, I'm like a matte person. Like I just, I just buy mattes. Really loved the colors, the shimmery colors. For the holidays, I like to be a little bit more glam. I like to step out of my comfort zone. So I like the variety that it has. It has like a good amount of mattes and a good amount of shimmers. It has a lot of good browns um, right here. These are just like really good browns right here. Um, and then it has like beautiful shimmery colors of different ranges. Like you have this one that kind of looks um, a little bit gray. Then you have this one that looks, it's called olive. It looks a little bit green. And then you have rose quartz, which it just, it's, it's pink. Then you have rust, which is a little bit orange. Um, then you have your bronze, which is like a pretty champagne color. So you kind of really have a lot of variety to play with. So I just think that overall it's a great palette if you don't have anything like this. So obviously a lot of people have already spoken on the issue of it being white. So this is what it looks like on the outside. It's like a cardboard um, packaging. It's not velvet or anything. It's just white and mine has stayed a little bit clean because I've been kind of anal with it. But on the inside, it's already getting dirty. I've heard a lot of people say that this has a lot of kickback and a lot of fallout. I didn't experience a lot of fallout um, today. I think it was because I was being careful. That is kind of like the overview. Like I said, this palette is $59. And you could get it at Ulta.com. As far as the quality of the eyeshadows, I feel that they are very on par with the other Lorac palettes that I have tried. And I always found that their palettes, their shadows, were very soft, like to the touch, like super creamy, really pigmented, and very easy to work with. Today I had no issues blending. I did use a primer. I used the shadow insurance from Too Faced. I would normally go in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in Eden. But today, I, I don't know, I just had it closer to me, and so I decided shadow insurance. I never really use it, so I, I feel like it was a good experience with it. And that eyeshadow primer is a little bit more hydrating than the Urban Decay. So I feel like with these shadows, it really worked very well. I like the variety of it. I like the quality of the shadows. I don't like the packaging 100% because it's going to get disgusting. The last thing I'll say about this, because I feel like I'm just repeating myself, like, I like it. It's gonna get dirty. I like it. Um, so would I recommend it? Do I recommend it to everyone? No. I don't think this palette is for everyone. I think that if you have a lot of makeup in your collection, then you probably have, like, a good set of these eyeshadows in your collection. If you're someone that doesn't like to travel with bigger palettes or doesn't like bigger palettes, 
even though this palette is pretty decently sized, I feel like maybe you wouldn't want to have so many shadows with you, maybe you want something smaller. So I think this palette is not for everyone, but am I glad I got it? Yes, I'm glad I got it. After playing with it, I'm even more satisfied with my purchase. Overall, I love this palette. I think this is the perfect palette for fall. I don't have anything like it in my collection, so I'm really glad I bought it. Make sure to go check out my blog, follow my Instagram, all the great stuff. Everything will be linked down below. Thank you all so much for watching and spending some of your time with me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!